all day, Cat. Looks like your weapons are going for a... Dennis! <laughs> 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 from an evil alien is hot work. You know what would really hit the spot? I see! It's the curly squirrel, dude! Oh, yes. <laughs> Come on, Coop, I'll buy! Hold up, Dennis. I think I recognize that curly squirrel kid. John Cronklin, master of the quad, would you? <laughs> Destroyer of skateboards. Sadistic supersonic soda soaker. <laughs> Never met a little kid he wouldn't pick on. <laughs> 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 You've had enough twisted fun, Cronklin. It stops right here. Ooh. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Made you jump, Bert and Booger! <laughs> when I was their age, I dreamed of paying back that bully. Now it's time to make that dream come true. You're still dreaming, dude. Todd's bigger and stronger. And he's a teenager. They're evil. Yeah, well, I've had plenty of practice fighting evil. <laughs> Mr. Cat, you're just in time to help us pick my science project. How about a wind-powered composter? Mm, too stinky. A paper mache volcano? A bicycle helmet made from recycled toilet seats. Are you even trying, Daddy? Oh, this is a great project. A potato battery. Trust me, it'll be brilliant. Too small, mm, too lumpy. Yeesh. Too much like old lady Munson. Whoa. Cat has hidden his amazing weapons. I do not know. Duh, he fooled us. Yes. Cat is clever. Duh, yes. And handsome. We will never stop his invasion. Duh. <laughs> We're gonna stop him, Dennis. Franklin won't know what hit him. science project has given me a fantastic idea. I'll convert our gas-guzzling station wagon to potato power. That'll really stick it to the big oil companies, right, Daddy? Right. Come on, Pumpkin. We're gonna need more spuds. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> 
I don't believe it. Every grocer in town is sold out of potatoes? <laughs> the big oil cartels must be out to sabotage our potato plan, Daddy. Uh, well, don't worry, Pumpkin. They won't stop us. Maybe we can hit another veggie power jackpot. Let it go, Coop. Those little kids can always get ice cream at the corner store. This isn't about the ice cream, Dennis. It's never been about the ice cream. Hmm. Huh? Hey, there goes Cat, and it looks like he's been shopping. Come on, you need a distraction. <sighs> okay, but let's make this quick. <laughs> <laughs> Smells like french fries? What's he up to? I bet he's at the playground right now looking for more victims. Cool, focus. Oh, great. <laughs> He took the old potato battery science project up a notch. Look at the juice that thing's putting out. Coop, he didn't just build a potato battery, he built a potato mini reactor. Coop? Well, at least the radio works. We need more power! This is for our own good, bro. There's no other way to resist the curly swirl bells. Uh, Time for payback. And then we get the ice cream. veggie guzzler. It'd take a house full of broccoli just to drive around the block. <laughs> yes! Sweet justice at last. Now we can do something about cat! <laughs> hey, find some place else to put your giant french fry. You're gonna melt all the ice cream. Coop, that's no french fry. It's a potato nuke. It'll melt us all. Now you tell me. Ice Way to go, cat boy. No, everybody get back. <laughs> Cat's building a bunker under Boots Hill. It'll contain the blast. Where's she going? <laughs> Dude, do you smell french fries? We might all be french fries in a couple of seconds. <laughs> I got 49 flavors of Bye Bye Cat. Whoa! Chocolate ripple puddles! <laughs> Cat talk, dude. You're slurping. <laughs> Mr. Cat, you missed a fun ride. <sighs> it was a good dream while it lasted, but Big Oil wins again. Those bullies. Are you crying, Daddy? <gasps> no pumpkin nuts, just the onions. Bastard! 
Yeah, step on it. <laughs> Suddenly, I love that tune. has got to learn how to sew. Mm. <laughs> Hello, what do we have here? <laughs> Dennis, hot potato! <laughs> I don't like potatoes! <laughs> well, that's it for the entrance. Now on to the kitchen. <laughs> Mr. Cat! Never run under a ladder, Mr. Cat. It's bad luck. <laughs> cool! Right, Cat? No. Never run under a ladder, Mr. Cat. It's bad luck. Bad luck. Bad luck. Bad luck. Bad luck. Huh? No. Oh, sorry, Pumpkin. I, I didn't see you there. Daddy, you broke my mirror. That's seven years bad luck. Oh, what do we do? A meteor is going to land on our house, and then we'll be homeless, and then me and Mr. Cat will have to join the circus as traveling acrobats. Sounds good to me. <laughs> There's nothing to worry about, sweetie. I have my trusty 12-leaf clover I found near the Timberlake Nuclear Power Station. It's three times more lucky than a four-leaf clover. Now, you better clear out while I sweep this up. What do we do now? We can't play ball hockey without a ball. Having a bad day, Cat? Must be that ladder you ran under. Uh-oh. If a black cat crosses your path, it's even more bad luck. Right, Dennis? <laughs> Actually, in some cultures, black cats are good luck, so scaring one away is bad luck. Oh, no! Mr. Cat! Stepping on a crack is unlucky. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Mr. Cat. We have to save ourselves from a life of bad luck. Wow. I brought you some more good luck charms, Daddy. This is Phoebe's lucky hairband, and this is Lauren's lucky bowl of oatmeal. Oh, thank you, Pumpkin, but <laughs> I don't need anybody else's oh. good luck charms. I have my own, remember? Wait! Where'd my clover go? Money, pictures, Swapper's Union card? Useless! Oh! Useless! Oh, Daddy! What are we going to do? Ah, the bad luck! It's starting! Oh, here's one. The Blacktop Slapshot DX3300. Uh, too expensive. All I have is... 20 bucks? This must be my lucky day! It's a luck balance. Since Cat is having such a bad luck day, then as his enemy, you're automatically having a good luck day. Luck balance? Please. You're worse than Millie. <laughs> 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 my paintbrush. 
I can't find my paintbrush! <sighs> Try this lucky bar of soup, Daddy. It's Irish! <laughs> I don't think the soap is lucky, Millie. I could ask Mrs. Munson to lend you her lucky underwear. She never leaves her house without them. <laughs> no thanks. Customer, as a special promotion, you win a $200 shopping spree. <gasps> Dennis, do you know what this means? That my luck theory is correct? Bad chance. It means we can buy enough equipment to put on a ball hockey tournament. He scores! <laughs> Lucky shot, dude. Luck nothing. That was skill. What gives? This stuff is brand new! Game called on account of exploding equipment! Let's go play Road Hockey 2000 on a game station. Virtual equipment doesn't fall apart. Unless you know the cheat code. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, come on, guys. Look, we can fix it. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. At least we didn't lose the ball. Uh-oh. <laughs> All right, let's do this. That was unlucky. <laughs> okay, we need a plan. Time to use our heads. Good idea. Smarticus. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on. Wow. Now he's just ah, showing off. Look at his chest piece. Stuck. It's your dad looking over. <laughs> Let's see that bad luck curse spill paint on anything now. all that ammo on us, cat. No, it's the black cat's bad luck that's making the suit malfunction. <laughs> For the record, I still see all this luck stuff is baloney, but as long as cats find it, I'll roll with it. Keep them busy. <laughs> bad luck, bad luck, that's good, bad luck. <laughs> Uh-oh, it's bad luck to go under a ladder, cat. <laughs> He's got his lucky mojo back! Good thing I don't believe in luck. What's going on? Good job, Pumpkin. Now all we have to do is remove the newspaper and the whole kitchen is done. Remember, honey. Lucky charms are fine, but there's no substitute for hard work and preparation. Does that mean I can keep your lucky clover? No, oh, thank goodness! I knew the old clover wouldn't let me down. Ha! The explosion turned Cat into a black cat. Now he won't be able to escape his own bad luck. Unless he's the good luck kind of black cat. 
Then he's washing off all of his good luck. <laughs> weird how this brand new equipment just fell apart. It was Cat's good luck amulet. His good luck meant bad luck for us. Would you forget about that good luck, bad luck stuff? I'm sure there's a perfectly sane explanation. Yeah. Termites. Okay, that explains the sticks. But what about the nets? That was pure bad luck. Maybe he didn't tighten the bolts tight enough. There were bolts? Aha! Uh -huh. See? <laughs> that proves it. There's no such thing as luck. It's all in how you look at things. But <laughs> You stole my lucky bloomers, you hooligan! Give them back right now so I can leave this house and give you a sound thrashing! Okay, okay, I'll admit it. That is a lucky break. <laughs>